I'm Bambi Francisco for Vader TV, the network for innovators. Well, virtualization is a game changer in the security industry. And joining me to talk about just how virtualization is changing the data centers is Greg Ness. He is the VP of Marketing of Blue Lane Technologies. Uh, Greg, thanks for joining us. And, and tell us, how is virtualization um, changing the game in the security industry? Great to be here. Um, basically, if you think about the data center and, and racks of servers and appliances, with virtualization, it's putting pressures on to uh, place everything onto these commoditized processors and, and blade servers. So what that means is it's shifting the world from being a very hardware-centric world in the data center where you literally have you know, appliance after appliance stacked up doing specialized tasks and the traffic having to you know, bounce through those appliances on the way. Mm -hmm. So that being converted to very thin layers of software that reside on each server mm -hmm. that have that specialization. So it changes the dynamics because it makes servers much easier to move around and to change and transform according to requirements. And then it also kind of crowds out the classic appliances that have always been, you know, at the key of the data center. So if you think about it, it's similar to what happened with the desktop environment years ago when they developed operating systems. People bought software that ultimately replaced the mm -hmm. functionality of hardware from typewriters to mm -hmm. you know all kinds of fax machines and other devices that is now taking place thanks to virtualization in the core of the data center. Well, virtualization is definitely hot especially with VMware uh, going public but is the market there for it now? I mean how is how do you look at adoption and uh, the actual market opportunity? Well, it's interesting because I can remember um, living up in the Seattle area in the 80s and seeing Microsoft's IPO and thinking it was too expensive. And, mm -hmm. you know, how are they going to grow and take that on? And clearly when you change the game for an environment like, for instance, when with desktops came along and with mm -hmm. operating systems, it created a huge industry for software mm -hmm. and all kinds of features and functionality. That it literally changed the world mm -hmm. from a standpoint of computing. So what virtualization promises this time around is to do the same thing that they accomplished, what software did, operating systems for the desktop, mm -hmm. not for the data center. So if you think about like the Fortune 100, Fortune 500, all these companies, they're spending millions and millions of dollars a year to maintain mm -hmm. these, to evaluate appliances, to move things around, and to try to keep up and keep IT strategic to the company. Now you have this environment where you have people that are very familiar with computing, you have people that you know are basically taking and, and you know bringing in virtualization, which is this new operating system. And now the same people that are you know getting three signatures and moving servers around, et cetera, to accomplish things, mm -hmm. can do this with a point, a click. And they can not only change the servers and move them around, but they can revert to earlier versions of the servers, mm -hmm. earlier versions of applications. So it's a tremendous amount of power and capability that I think despite the success of VMware, that a lot of Wall Street is yet coming to full grip with what the significance of what we're seeing is. And, and your market, what you're looking to tap into is the virtualization security market, which it would, will be a billion to two billion in three to four years According forecasted? According to Pacific Crest report that just came out in the last few weeks, um, they're uh -huh. anticipating the market growing from what is in effect close to zero mm -hmm. to one to two billion in three to four years. And to put this in perspective, the network security appliance business, IPS business has been projected to grow from about 700 million to a billion this year. So over the last five plus years, that physical appliance market with a lot of big name companies in it from ISS and Tipping Point mm -hmm. and, and Sourcefire, which went public earlier this year. Um, if you think about that, all of these large companies, it took five plus years to get to this point. Mm -hmm. What Pacific Crest is suggesting in the report and what I think others will discover or will agree with is that because of this shift to software, the change is going to happen. It's going to be very pronounced, and it's going to be, it's going to be very substantial when it mm -hmm. takes place. Um, people are just discovering the security issues with virtualization and the changes mm -hmm. that it brings about. Mm -hmm. um, as that happens, you're going to see a driver of the virtualization security business. It's very parallel to the growth of virtualization in the data center, mm -hmm. but it'll be somewhat delayed because of the nature of the market and the fact that people are still learning about it. You mentioned Tipping Point, and there's probably other big security companies yeah. out there. McAfee, how, um, how do you com what's your competitive advantage? So when our founders created Blue Lane, um, they kind of took the road less traveled. So when the, the, the classic network security companies were approaching protection, they spent a whole lot of time studying, and, and it was really paid off for them, and it was a smart move at the time, mm -hmm. studying all the possible exploits and permutations of exploits that it could come in and affect the network. And so they've done a huge service to the industry by creating vast armies of security researchers who keep track and track mm -hmm. and protect the entire 
network perimeter mm -hmm. from invasion. So think of like the Great Wall of China strategy or the French Maginot Line, which was this very large structure that just keeps the bad people out. Our founders, um, you know, took the, the road less traveled, and that's made all the difference, you know, to uh, refer to the poet. But um, they looked at it from the standpoint of rather than keeping track and tracking all of the vulner or all of the exploits, why not focus on the vulnerabilities and get to know the software and application and protocol layer? And as a contrast from like the Great Wall of China, which was a very fixed structure that blocks traffic, mm -hmm. that impedes the bad guys, but also impedes other kinds of commerce and activities. It's more like a Khyber Pass, or if you think yeah. of at Thermopylae, there was a uh, you know more of a, a pass type thing where you had a level of visibility and defense posture that allowed you to look at the traffic, inspect it, change it without much impact. Right. But with so very small teams, hence the you know the famous Spartans at Thermopylae that held off a vast Persian army. Huh. From our standpoint, we've created that pass, a highly effective defensive position, so smaller groups of security people can be much more effective that in protecting big. servers, yeah. keep availability high, and, and security highly accurate and efficient hmm. because they have the view of the traffic that traditional appliances haven't That's been a, able to. It's an interesting accomplish. way to look at that. So you've been around three to four years. Uh, what's your revenue this year? What's it growing at? And um, yeah, I mean, basically, we're not supposed, you're we're private company. We're not supposed, you know, we're not supposed to be sharing that revenue. Okay, but your business model is um, what, what is your business model? So we have two products. We have a physical product that literally got us here where we are. VMware mm -hmm. was one of our customers. Um, they saw the payoff with protecting servers. They said this would be interesting. Do you think you could get it to work on a hypervisor, which is a standard server with the operating system, the virtualized operating system? Mm -hmm. Um, literally within 90 days, our software worked because of yeah. the way that we're designed. It's very elegant, focused on vulnerabilities. And so we went to market in March and won Best of Interop in Security, lots of awards. We had won uh, always Best on. of InfoWorld. We had been always on, uh, top private company for two years in a row, one of only eight of the hundred. And um, so they kind of brought us into this and educated, and we quickly got the opportunity and saw it. And then as we've been announcing you know, versions of our virtual shield product, which is the yeah. software equivalent of our appliance. Yeah. Um, it's been very interesting for us. It's not only ignited our appliance business, but then it's created a new revenue stream for us and a new customer base. Okay. Well, very uh, good luck to you. And if you can just hold on to, to VMware, I guess you can ride that wave because uh, they seem to be doing really well. Well, thank you. Great to be here. Okay. Thanks very much, Greg. I've been speaking with Greg Ness. He's the VP of Marketing. I'm Bambi Francisco.